Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're doing some more nails. So on my nails, this is Color Club and it's called Don't Harp On It. I got this at Walmart for $2.50. That was on sale a little while ago. Actually, I've had it for a while now. Um, but yeah, so that is the color I'm using. Actually, I better leave it out. Um, we are going to do some stamping. I'm going to use one of my new stamping plates that I got from Timu. So this one is called Gentian. And then it's Y043. So it's all these funky colors color or like patterns I thought they were pretty cool so we're gonna play with this one today so take off the blue film maybe <laughs> I can get a get a grip on it Oops. Okay, so I'm going to quickly clean it, and then I'm going to take a wipe and just get rid of whatever little fuzzies that may be on it. Okay, so we are going to use my clear sticky stamping polish from She Modern, um, and then we're going to try out some of her new... Um, She's got temperature changing um, powders. So you know I love my pigment powders. So I want to try these out. So I have four. I've got the um, lilac. So it's when it's cold, it's lilac. When it's hot, it's clear. This one's pink to clear, purple to pink, and then aqua to clear. They're all gorgeous. See, I don't know if I can. Oh, see? It's kind of changing. So, I think I'm going to use these two. We're going to do some, like, a bit of a gradient um, effect with it. And I'm not sure which design I want to use. I think I could use five of them. Like, just do a variety of them just to try out this plate. So, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dispense some of the powder onto my palette. I just have a clear plastic palette that I got from She Modern years ago. You can use, like, a lid, piece of tin foil, what have you. I like these because I... Um, Oh, they might be kind of sometimes say during transit they um, get a little stuck okay one sec okay that took me a bit um, it was a little clogged up I had to pry it open and get the powder out but I think we're all ready um okay so i'm gonna do five different designs because i kind of want to check them out so actually maybe what we'll do should i no i'm gonna do i was i wanted to kind of do a gradient with them so um we're gonna stick to we're going to stick to the original plan. And I think I might kind of like this image. So we're just going to do one image. And then, because that one's pretty good. I think I like that one. So I'm turning it around so it's closer to me. I think I'm all ready. I'll do my thumb first. Thumb is always the experiment thumb. 
So, so the only problem is I don't know if I got the whole. Okay, so I didn't get the whole image, so I'm going to go with maybe my ring or my index finger. So there. <laughs> So we're going to do hopefully I'm in frame. Gonna go do more of a gradient. See, I'm warm right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a bucket of cold water to try this out. But okay, so we'll push that back out of the way. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna brush it off after because I wanna. I always do it after. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I kind of wait so it'll dry a little more and the powder will stick. So, so now let's add a bit more polish just to make sure that we've got everything covered. Get the crap out of my way. There we go. Can you guys see that? Okay. So now, I'm just gonna aim. So when you're using the clear, I would pick an image where <laughs> it doesn't have to be precise center that, um, cause you can't see where you're putting it. <laughs> I mean, you can a little bit, but not, not a hundred percent. Okay. So we're going to put ooh. so it's kind of cool. It's going pink already. Make sure I go all the way to my sides. And I'm just tapping up and down. Don't scrub it in because you don't want to. Um, I don't know if I missed that side or not. It kind of looks like I did. If I did, I'll, I'll try and fix it after. Um, yeah, so you don't want to don't want to scrub it in because if you do then you'll screw up the, the design okay so hold the plate down scrape and because there's a lot of big images I'm going quite low and I'm going quite slow so I want it to okay yeah it looks like I missed like a whole side of it so what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to add some onto the side. And then I'm going to do here as well. It's kind of cool that it changes already. It's so you can tell it's very sensitive it's, that it's changing already. Ooh, there's three so far. Do, 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 move you out of the way. Hold it down, slide, and then roll up, and then there we go. So we're going to, and this is why I put paper towel underneath because I'm messy. <laughs> if you guys haven't figured that out yet, for my new people, I, I, I'm messy. I'm a klutz. I knock stuff over. Um, yeah. So if you're the same way, welcome to the club. And it's okay, you can still do nail art, even if you're messy. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. I'm going to have to get more of these colors now. <laughs> it's like... So she, um, she modern has, um, her Amazon, she has products on her Amazon. Um, so you can get pre-made, pre-done sets, um, there as well. And then she also sells on her website. If you order from her website, um, if you could use my discount code, it's girly nails 10, that would be awesome. Um, when you guys order, um, I collect like points and then, um, I end up earning free stuff and then that way I get to help and make more videos. I get more content, which is kind of cool. I mean, I love her products. Um. So regardless getting products, I would still use them because I do, I do really enjoy them. They're well made. They last forever. Like I have pigment powders going back years. So, I mean, if you look at the little bottles, you think, oh my God, there, there's not much stuff in there. But honestly, it lasts a long time. Okay, so the, the tips, even though they're kind of going white, they still have a little bit of a little bit of a blue tinge. I don't know if it's just my Im imagination because I did use a silver hollow 
So let's see here. So I have some of my skin from um, doing the extra swirl there. I like the temperature changing polishes and powders and stuff. It's kind of cool because you get like three looks in one. You get your cold look, you get your hot look, and you get the in-between look. Especially if you have a, like a little bit of longer nails. Um, it'll be warm up here, but your tips will be cold. So you kind of get a, like a gradient look, So, which is really cool. Okay, so that's kind of brushed off. Now, let me just clean this up. I'll be right back. Oh, and I usually do this on the paper towel. I get a majority of it, but I have this new little tin that I got from Timu. And this is for um, cleaning your brushes off, like pigment powders and stuff. Um, and then I can remove this and wash wash it out, but then it gets it gets rid of all the pigment powders, which is so cool and it's so cute. It's got a little kitty cat on it, so I don't. Know. I just had to show you that. Okay, hang on. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my matte uh, clear base sealer um, to protect the um, pigment powders and the stamping. I just make sure. I shake it up really well and then once once it's dry I actually will go in with a shiny top coat because I think the the shiny with the, the hollow is better but I want to make sure my um, my stamping is well protected And I try and go light. I don't touch. I try not to touch the brush to the nail, and I don't go over it more than once. I just go whoop, whoop, and whoop. So I'm getting the whole nail. I, you need the sound effects. <laughs> so there's that. So once this is dry, then I'm going to go in. I guess we're going to use my Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Fast Dry Top Coat. But look, you can see um, that the blue, the tips are um, colder because I put the top coat on. So now I've got a bit of a more gradient look. Ugh, I love them. So uh, I'm going to let this dry. We are, I'm going to clean it up and then I will come back. But look at that. That looks so cool. I really like that. It's pretty. It's, it's very curly too. So, okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So that's what it looks like matte. I kind of cleaned up my edges a little bit might have missed a few spots i'm really dry now um so now we're gonna just go in with my sally hansen fast dry top coat but i really like it it turned out pretty and look the tip is changing color. It's kind of cool. So I'll have to see if I can get some pictures. Oh, I missed a spot on my nail there. Um, in different shades. Because it's warm here again. Um... I don't know about you guys, but I 
generally normally with the temperature um, the color changing temperature um, polishes pigments etc I like doing them more in the winter because I have more chances of them changing all different colors like look at that look, look how cool that is and with a silver hollow underneath it just yeah it looks cool so okay well that is my many for today i'm gonna see what kind of pictures i can get to you guys so stay tuned for those uh coming up next um yeah and um I will have Daisy and Pippa coming up. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do some nails. I just wanted to play with these new powders. Um, yeah, I'm going through all the She Modern and we're going to be testing out everything. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe. And, um, yeah, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? We do a lot of sea shakes and uh, you know, get her something. Where you went? Where you went? Okay. Okay. You want a bone? <laughs> Did you get it? Where'd it go? <laughs> well, don't go in there with her. <laughs> She'll eat it on you. Oh, <laughs> she just slow down. Pip, hey, Pip. Pip. <laughs> okay, are you done? Good girls. <laughs>